Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. I'm here today to do a surprise book haul. Surprise for you, surprise for me. I'll show you what I mean. Just hang on a sec. So I got this massive box in the mail. You see how big it is? Huge. And this box is from Tor slash Forge. They sent me a box of their upcoming summer releases. This is like a summertime box. I think it was like, I want to say beach box or something. It had a name. I don't remember what it was, but I'm just going to open this up and show you guys what I got. I'm not going to lie in typical Jamie fashion. I have looked at the goodies inside, but I have not been able to look at what books have come with it because they are all wrapped and that is so freaking cute. Before I get into the books, I'll just randomly show you kind of the little trinkets that came into them and it's just nothing. It's just for fun. Nothing serious, but I got these sweet shades. So there's those. I got a uh, baggie of shells. I mean, look at this, seashells. Luckily I live in Nova Scotia, so these are everywhere here, but now I've got my own. Don't even need to go to the beach. I also got a little flip-flop keychain, a little stress ball of the world, and finally, and probably the best part of all, I've got this sweet visor, so. If I'm not ready for the beach in summer, I don't know what would make me more ready than this. I mean, come on, right? Okay, but I will take it off for the video so you can actually focus because I will be staring at myself in that visor the whole time if I have it on. It also came with two packs of sunscreen, SPF 30 Sport Performance by Banana Boat. And I will most definitely use these. I will throw these in my purse in case I need them because pale as a ghost, so ghost do burn in the summer. <laughs> Alrighty, without further ado, let's get into the books. There are one, two, three, four, five, six, seven books to show you. I have no idea what any of them are, and I don't know what probably what any of them are about, I'm just assuming. I never know what anything is about. Let's start with this one, this polka dotted one. It's like Christmas. Oh, man, this is tough-ass tissue paper. Aya thinks that this is for her. Not for you. So the... Ugh, dog. So the first book that comes with it is This Case Is Gonna Kill Me. And this is by... Oh, my God. My animals are fucking crazy. Stop! Run! Stop! Jersey Shore, anyone? Yikes. This is by Philippa Bornikova. It says, uh, let's see what it says. Working in the city can be murder. Yeesh. It also says this is a Lynette Ellery novel, so this must be part of a series maybe? Let's see. It takes more than a little luck to make it in a vampire's world. Oh, didn't see that coming. Okay, so it's about vampires. Lynette Ellery is the offspring of an affluent Connecticut family. Fresh out of law school, she's just starting a career at a powerful White Fang New York law firm. But strange things keep happening to her in a workplace where some humans can achieve immense power and a centuries-long life. Office politics can be vicious. However, there's more to Lynette Ellery than a little old money privilege, more than even she realizes. She's going to shake up the system like you wouldn't believe. I, uh, don't, I still don't know what this is about, but I'm guessing it is about a human who is a lawyer um, versus vampire lawyers. Maybe. Sounds cool. It sounds dark. Maybe a fall time read. So that's book one. Book two. Book two in blue. Ooh. What are this? The next book that comes with it is Summerland by Hannah Rajanahimi. Raja and this says, how do you catch a spy who's already dead? I don't know. How? Okay, this sounds interesting. I'm just going to read a little bit of this. Loss is a thing of the past. Murder is obsolete. Death is just the beginning. In 1938, death is no longer feared, but exploited. Since the discovery of the afterlife, the British Empire has extended its reach into Summerland, metropolis for the recently deceased. Yet, Britain isn't the only contender for power in this life and the next. 
the Soviets have spies in Summerland, and the technology to build their own god. When SIS agent Rachel White gets a lead on one of the Soviet moles, blowing the whistle puts her hard-earned career at risk. Spy has friends in high places and she will have to go rogue to bring him in. But how do you catch a spy who's already dead? That sounds really unique and interesting. Ooh, yellow book. Yeah, I've not heard anything about this, so that sounds really cool. Bottom one says it's a stellar debut, so high praises. Anchors away. Ooh, ooh, just got really bright. I did, ah, I did that. Next one is Dive Smack by Dimitra Brodsky. And this says it's a tense psychological drama with a voice that pulls you in and a twist you won't see coming. So I'm assuming that this is a thriller, horror, suspense type of thing, which as you probably know means I am not going to read the synopsis because I don't want it to be spoiled. There is this little tiny circle here that says Theo knows one thing for certain about the fire that burned his life down. He lit the match. What does that mean? I don't know. Dark. Ooh, I love psychological books. So if that's what this is, I am here for it. I am all about this. Another blow. Next one here is The Fairies of Sadieville by Alexa Bledsoe. It says this is the final Tufa novel or Tufa novel, which I am assuming means that this is the fourth or final in a series. So I'm not going to read the synopsis because, hold on. It says charming and lyrical, The Fairies of Sadieville concludes Alex Bledsoe's widely praised contemporary fantasy series about the fairy descendants of Appalachia. What? I have not heard anything about this series. That sounds interesting though. Hmm. If you guys have read any of the books in the series, please let me know what you think because I don't know. I've never really read any like fae books or fairy books. So, oh, it says, imagine a book somewhere between American Gods and Faulkner. Absolutely worth your time. Patrick Rothfuss. Shit, might have to get the other books. Green. Oh, this looks interesting. It's called Drop by Drop by Morgan I don't know. Technology can't save us. Bum, 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 bum. I'm just gonna read the back here. Drop by drop, the change came to Sycamore River, slowly and quietly in the beginning, not enough to cause a ripple on the placid surface of the town. Few people noticed at first. Can change be like that? Ooh, it says this is a near future thriller where technology fails and small town struggles to survive global catastrophe. Yikes, that's all too real, isn't it? Ooh, pretty color book. That sounds really interesting. It's a sci-fi, that's what it says. I've not heard anything about it. That sounds good. I have a feeling this is a book that both me and Jeff will enjoy, so I'm excited for that one. Stars. Oh, this looks beachy. But the next one is Carousel Beach by Orly Kon Koenig. I don't know. I don't know how to pronounce names. So this says, a cryptic letter on her grandmother's grave had a puzzling inscription on a carousel horse that led artist Maya Bryce to 90-year-old Hank Hauser. While stripping chip layers of paint from the old horses and peeling fragmented memories from their mysterious carver, Maya untangles the intertwined secrets of love, heartbreak, and misunderstandings among three generations of strong-willed women. Ooh, that sounds interesting. It's been blurbed here by Shelley Noble, and I have read one of Shelley Noble's books. Um, she writes like summary books. Koenig's writing is captivating from beginning to end. Mm -hmm. Then there is one more. <gasps> oh. <laughs> I'm so excited. Okay, so this is A Dog's Way Home by W. Bruce Cameron. I love W. Bruce Cameron. I've read A Dog's Purpose and The Twelve Dogs of Christmas. I love his writing. It says, with 400 miles of dangerous Colorado wilderness separating one brave dog from her beloved person, Bella sets off on a seemingly impossible and completely unforgettable adventure home. <laughs> I am so excited to read this. You have no idea. I love, I love, I love W. Bruce Cameron so much. Okay. So I am beyond jazzed for that one. So those are all of the books that I got from Tor. Thank you so much to Tor. This is an awesome surprise. I am really excited to read a lot of these books and I think Jeff will be too, which is great. It's always nice. The books that I get from Tor typically are books that both Jeff and I can read, which is always nice because it, you know, dual purpose. So 
yeah, that's all I have for you guys today. Thank you so much for watching. If you've read any of these books or have heard of any of these books or their prequels or whatever, let me know down below. I would love to know about that. Thanks so much for watching. If you like what you see, please subscribe, and I hope to see you again soon.